Hey, it's Kevin. Thanks so much for coming by for another No BS social media chat. Over the course of the next few weeks, and even the last couple of weeks, we're talking about social media and some of the basic tenets of social media that amazingly enough, in the 12 to 15 years I've been actively involved and the five years that I've been doing these videos, these things were the initial topics we talked about in the videos. These things are topics that come up each and every week in meetings with prospective clients, with existing clients, and more importantly, are topics that, while there may be nuances to them that have changed, the basic tenets of these topics haven't changed. This week, we're talking about planning and the need for proper planning. Every time I sit in a meeting, I say, okay, what's our strategy? What's our plan? A lot of people come to me and say, okay, I need you to write me a social media plan. And while I appreciate the you just want something on paper to share with friends and show how important it is and, and, and to justify the money you spend, a social media plan can be just something as simple as some st strategic notes. It can be one sheet of notebook paper. It can be some notes in a computer. It doesn't have to be a big, elaborate 30-page plan. Now, sometimes, if you're a big brand by, by like Coca-Cola, now I've never seen a Coca-Cola social media engagement plan, I would bet 30 pages isn't enough. They have big departments with hundreds of people involved in this kind of thing. It's, a, it's an advertising division for them. If you're just a small business owner, if you're running a small nonprofit, if you're a recording artist, if you're a media person, you don't necessarily need something as fancy, but you do need something in writing. Something that I don't care if it's just a, it's a sticky note that you post on the wall to just kind of remind yourself. Something in writing will give you a chance to look back, reflect, to look at it and say, okay, where am I going? Now, does it need to be detailed? Not necessarily. Details are nice, but the one thing I found out about social media is while it's great to have a plan, you more importantly have to be prepared to deviate from the plan in order to strike when the iron's hot. Does that make sense? We have an analogy one of the companies I work with is called Ready, Fire, Aim. You have to be ready, you have to have that gun ready to shoot, and you have to aim. Well, but wait a minute. Sometimes, even before you get a chance to line up the shot and aim, you've got to fire. And so you have to be prepared both ways. So the more planning you have, the more preparation you have, the better off you are. As I tell people, I mean, they throw up a video on YouTube and say, okay, why didn't a lot of people watch it? Why isn't it a viral video? And I say, sadly, there are so many details involved that you need to know the answers for. Number one, what day of the week should you post that video on? When you finally harness the day of the week, can you massage it to morning, midday, afternoon, time of the day, or whatever it is, to make it that much better, to get that much more engagement? Each client I've ever worked with has a unique little soft spot, and it's not just something you can pick. You can't say, everybody should post their YouTube videos between 10 and 2 Eastern Time on Mondays. No, because everybody has a different audience, everybody has a different base, and, and it's unique to them. And it takes time to discover that. You can't just throw up three YouTube videos on three different days and say, oh, that's the day we're going to do it. From here on out, we're going to do it. It takes planning. Again, most people want to hurry up and, and rush through it. They don't want to aim, and they don't want to organize, and they don't want to get their, their you know, proper planning going. And that's where they spend a lot of time creating content, but not getting well, the most bang out of their buck for that content, if you will. So it's important to have a plan of some kind, to have a goal, to have like a road map of where you want to go, but know sometimes you can you know, veer off the highway and take a back road or, or take a detour or take a pass or, or just, well, to have a plan that so all of a sudden you've got to pause it for a second and you say, well, we're going to get back to that plan, but I've got to pause for a second. Having a plan is important. I think with anything we do, having a plan is important. I'm one of these people, I mean, when I create shopping lists, I organize it by store, I organize it by aisle if I have that information down. I try to make it as convenient, as quick, and as easy as possible for me doesn't always work. Sometimes you have to deviate from the plan, but at least walking out the door with a plan in my hand, I feel a little bit more confident of knowing where I'm going, what I've got to do, and if I've got to stop and get detoured, I can hop right back on track because I've got the written plan. Same thing goes for social media. A good plan is worth its weight, and it doesn't have to be something that's paragraphs and paragraphs. I mean, I've built social media plans that literally have been five, six pages, volumes upon volumes of wording and charts and graphs and everything like that, and they've been wonderful and then something happens and the plan gets derailed and you throw that out the window. I've written proposals for prospective clients and things like that that have been three and four pages that have taken me 20, 30 hours to create. And they've looked at it and went, yeah, it's not really the direction I want to go and we go off on something else. So while having a plan is important, having, well, put in the right amount of effort, and it's always something you can hone or you can dive in more and say, you know what, we probably need to focus more on this right now. Let's focus on this, leave the other stuff there. You don't have to get into a 12-page plan to start. If you've got, well, almost like an outline on one page to start, that's a plan. It gives you an idea of what you want to do. Which, which you know, sites do we want to target first? Where do we want to go? How do we want to do this? Creating a plan is going to help you in the social media long run. And again, 
As we said last week, this is a marathon, not a sprint. That plan will help you throughout the whole process. Back next week, another No BS social media chat. NoBSSocial.com, the website for all the videos. We have them on Facebook, have them on YouTube. If you want me, I'm simple to find. My email address, my phone number coming up here at the end of the video. Reach out. Let's chat. Thanks.